Alright guys, welcome back to another Transfer Daily. This is just a show where I keep you up to date of all the West Brom players being linked with a move away or a move to the Hawthorns. Now, the first rumour being Callum Robinson from Sheffield United. Now, we all know that West Brom, again, were linked with Callum Robinson um, last window, I believe, before his move to Sheffield United. Now, I have heard of various people, one of them being someone called Reluctant Nico on um, Twitter, who actually works for The Sun, I believe, but he is actually quite a reliable source. Um, Joe Massey from The Express and Star is saying that there's has confirmed that there is genuine interest, and we all know that you know people like Joe Massey um, are all quite reliable because they work very closely for the club. Um, he's also confirmed that uh, West Brom are interested in bringing, bringing Callum Robinson uh, to West Brom. Um, he's also confirmed that West Brom want another... Two players, Slavin Bilic has confirmed that to him, apparently. Um, and both of them are, are going to be attacking players. Um, I do believe one of them to be Mislav Orsic. Obviously, we'll have a, a short list, but you know the latest rumour, like I say, is Callum Robinson, guys. And to be honest, it wouldn't be a bad window if we could get Callum Robinson and Mislav Orsic in. I think that would be a pretty successful window. Callum Robinson, former Preston player. I think he was at Villa as well before as well. Um, yeah, former Preston player, really good in the Championship. Uh, managed in his last season in the Championship, managed to get twelve goals and three assists in twenty-seven games for Bristol um, for Preston. Sorry, now he is quite a versatile, uh, versatile player. Again, he can play up front, uh, which you know we are lacking a bit goals at the minute. And to bring someone like him and Orsic in would be massive for our season. But he can also play out on the wide as well. He's got a decent ratio in front of goal. Um, I don't think it's really worked out for him that well at Sheffield United. We see this very often with players, um, you know, taking that step up from the Premier League uh, for the Championship to the Premier League. Um, now I have heard that, you know, no one's actually sure if it's going to be a loan deal or a, a permanent deal. My guess is is that it will be a loan deal. I can't see us buying him permanently. It's it's a bit like Dwight Gale and you know Mate Vidra, who everyone's saying we're gonna should go in for. Like they're both they're all good in the championship. They're all proven. But would you really want to be spending so much money on players if they're not Premier League proven? If that makes sense. Um, yeah, but the latest rumour is Callum Robinson, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that one. Now, the next one is actually contracts. Kyle Edwards, obviously. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of our academy players who need new contracts. Dara O'Shea was one of them. His contract has been sorted. Um, who else was it? Ryan Tullock, not yet to agree a deal. Nathan Ferguson, looking more and more unlikely to, you know, get a deal done. But now Kyle Edwards is apparently in an advanced stage to agree a new contract at West Brom. Um, you know, talks have been ongoing for weeks. You know, he's, we need to keep these players, guys. Like, I think Kyle Edwards is a real, real talent. He's, you know, he's really good to have in the squad. He's, he's a player who can who we can bring off the bench for now and develop him slowly as a player. The same as how Raheem Harper signed. Um, you know, it's worked out better for Edwards in the past month or two. But I feel like... You know, Kyle Edwards is making the right uh, decision. If he does sign a new contract, he's going to be getting more first-team football. And it's really nice to see that a player's actually committing his future to the club. Obviously, a boyhood West Brom, fa uh, West Brom fan, I'd imagine. But, you know, it's nice to see Nathan, um, Kyle Edwards agreeing a contract, hopefully. But there should be more to follow with that in the next coming weeks. And the last one, just me touching on Mislav Orsic. Now, guys, I haven't... Uh, heard anything you know since these rumors what come out of Croatia saying we were really close to um a greener deal I do think that all our deals will be done in the next few days obviously we've got like three days left of the window or something like that um I do think that these deals will get done on deadline day I really do you know ever since Luke Dowling's come to the club there's been a lot of transfer deadline day deals. You know, our, our window always seems to open towards the end of the window. Um, maybe it's due to the fact that we're not rushing and we only want to bring quality in. But, you know, it's really exciting times. I would be happy with Callum Robinson and Miss Orsic, if I'm being completely honest. You know, with the news that Dion Garner is staying and Mateus Pereira will um, more than likely be signing is a brilliant window for me and... 
just let me know in the comment section what you think guys like do you think it's been a successful window if we can get these over the line um you know Callum Robinson won't be the only one who we're trying to get in there'll be other targets but there is definite interest but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you in another episode of transfer daily